Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market and we have another haul video. This one's gonna be good. It's a flea market haul. I'm super excited because I got a lot of stuff for a dollar. It has been a while since it's been some dollar hauls from the flea market. And that does depend upon the season here in Florida. Who's down, who's visiting? The cats are crying already. Um, you know, what the market is like. So we're gonna go ahead and see what goodies I can find. Now, I don't remember um, the prices necessarily on everything, but I will tell you, I started out, okay, so in the outside area, at the actual flea market, I had a total spend of $160, which was pretty good. I got some good stuff. Sorry, my bangs are a little in my face today. Okay. And then inside the little thrift store, I spent $65. So my total spend at the flea market was $225. And there was one guy that had, if you were watching the haul video, he had all these boxes out. And like, I'd go up and I'd get three items for a dollar or I'd get this for a dollar. I think the most I paid was like $5 for two items. So since I was doing that, it was a little hard to remember. And then later on I hit a table and the lady like gave me everything up to a certain point for like $15. And then I think my total spend with her was 27, but you wanna see the haul. So we have a lot to go through, Chappie circling my leg. I think I'm gonna start with what I got at the thrift store and then we'll get into the outside market. So we're gonna start with the thrift store. And that is Miss Pam's Port Orange Thrift and Vintage. And the first thing I got was a dishware set. I got this whole set for $5. And I believe it had... It has the four dessert plates and the four dinner plates. It's a nasty day here today, I'm just saying. So this is the collection. I got all eight pieces for $5. It's fashion collection stoneware, oven to table, microwave and dishwasher safe, the Catherine pattern by Mount Clemens Pottery made in Japan. It is a speckled stoneware. So I got all four of the dessert plates. And then I got four, no, one of the dinner plates, which again, beautiful pattern. It was $5 for everything. That was really good. There is a little age spotting starting on the bottom. Once I wash them, I'll be able to see if there's any crazing, but these are in really nice condition and that makes it $2 and 50 cents a set. And with stoneware being so heavy, that makes it easy for me to put like maybe 12 to 15 on the dessert, 20 to 25 on the main ones. And then that's not so bad. And then we have this whole box from Miss Pam's. So we're gonna dig into this box. And I think I got a lot of pigs. I wiped out, she had a cute collection of pig figurines and I pretty much wiped them out. So let's see what this is to start with. Okay, so this is the mama and there's a set of babies that go with it. And sadly, it looks like the price tags did not stay on, the, oh there, there we go. It was $6 for this set with the mama and babies, which is not bad. Cause I think it's probably like a $20 set. Um. I think it's like a studio pottery, but look how cute the piggy. Maybe there's nothing else in that bag and the babies will be in here somewhere. Lots of crinkle alert, so I apologize. Then I picked this guy up for $4. Coffee Hound Japan, excellent condition. That's really, really cute. I paid four, it's like a 12 to 16. So again, got some good deals. Thank you, Miss Pam. Oh, here's the rest of the babies that go to that mama. So, oh, careful. So this is the set of the babies with the mama. So that's not bad for $6. Now I did just notice that on the one baby, the ear has been broken and repaired. I mean, it was done pretty nicely like you can't really tell on the front, but you can tell on the back. So I'll just make sure I note that. And then what I'm gonna do is when I get through this box, I'm gonna clear the table so we can keep going through the rest of it. 
This I have bought and sold before. This one was $5. This is a composite wood. It's Red Mill Manufacturing. I think I sold my last one for 12. This was five. So just a simple doubling of the money. It's like a composite faux wood, little piggy. So like I said, I cleaned out her pig section because it was really cute. Then I think, I think she sold me this for $3. And then this is one of those uh, topper spikes that you can, I think it was used for bills, but people put their um, Christmas tree topper collections on them. So that was exciting. It's just a little wobbly. But I think I think she had three or four on that. So I want to be careful I didn't stab myself with that. They taped up the rest of this really well for me. Oh yeah, and then I saw this little cutie. She was three dollars. She's just a little spring girl figurine, no month or anything. Thought she'd be cute in a little whatnot sale. Three dollars. That's a ten to twelve dollar which is nice to be back in that price point range, being able to triple my money but have a lower start, start cost. Now this one is missing a friend, so I'm gonna wait until I find the friend. And I have sold this set before, once I find it, if I find it. Okay, then I've gotta figure out what these are, guys. I bought a set of these for $5 and they're these blue, cobalt blue, I don't know if they're votive holders, little candle holders, cause you'd need a thicker candle. I think they're votive holders. And I got a set of four of these for $5 and they're this beautiful, beautiful blue. And I think in the outdoor market, I found a set of green ones that I got too, but we'll have to see. Okay, nope. So then I picked up this little piggy. Oh, and this is actually part of a set of four. I got a set of four of these for $5. So I gotta find the rest of those guys. And then I also, I got this for $2, just a little doggy. I thought it'd be cute for like a little whatnot giveaway or buy it now if I do a figurine sale. It almost reminds me of the the West Coast, uh, those, I forget what it's called. It's not Artesania Reconata, it's, uh, they have a, a series of hound dogs that have this kind of coloring. And then this I thought was really funny because I literally just bought one of these at Renegers for 10. And this one I got for five. And it is a little art glass pig paperweight for five. And it looks like on um, online they're going for 10 to 12. So I did overpay at Renninger's, but this is spot on, three to five dollar range. Here is another one of the little pigs. These are all made in Taiwan, the set of Four of them I did get for five dollars. So we're just finding the rest of them. Here's this little one that's in the basket as well. So they're all just hanging out together. Super cute. I'm gonna have a lot of paper to recycle this week. And then here's the other one. So we got these two and these two, and I will keep them as a complete set for, I paid five, so I'll probably start them at 15 and see what happens. Or they would be super cute if you wanted to break up the set and sell them for a couple dollars each in a buy it now section on whatnot. But I'm gonna try to keep them together first. Ooh, this one's heavy. Oh, so this is the rest of those little cobalt votive holders, or they might've been salt sellers originally. I'm not totally sure. So that's the rest of that pack. That was $5 for the set. I think that's it for the smalls in this group, moving right along. Okay, so here's the other half. So I got this for $4, which is spot on, because these usually sell for 10 to 12. And it's this Dachshund salt and pepper shaker, the other half. It is Japan. They do have their stoppers and it goes like that. And it's a little Dachshund. So I thought that was sweet. 
And now we're gonna get into a couple of bigger items. And then that'll be it for our $65 we spent at the thrift store. I am going to be having a planter sale, vases and planters. I picked this up for $4. It does actually have a marking on the bottom that's hard to read. It's definitely old, but it's this beautiful gold and pink flower vase, uh, bird vase. It does have a sticker on the back, partial still, that says Greenhawk something Pennsylvania, but I thought that that was really pretty for like a spring uh, planter sale. And then the last two items I got are identical, and I got these two for 15, and they are Fire King two quart casseroles, mid-century modern in style. So I'll unwrap one so you can see what it looks like. So this is the top of it. And I just noticed that this one actually has a chip in the lid. But other than that, it's good. It's a nice glass casserole, fire king, mid-century modern, gold tone. So I got the two for 15, so 750 each. They were originally 20. And that is it for the Pam's flea market uh, thrift store portion. So I'm gonna pause this here. And I will be right back with you when we will go through the rest of the flea market. So this is a nice linen vintage Thanksgiving tablecloth. And I got this for a dollar from the box guy. I didn't see any stains or issues. It's got a nice silky backing to it. Really nice condition. If it fits my table, I might keep it because I don't have anything like that. And then Okay, I have, this is from that dollar guy, table guy. Now I actually got this really awesome signed, it's here, it's got a signature on it. It's dirty on the inside, so I don't wanna move it too much. I don't know who it is, but this screams 80s to me. It is heavier, but I got this two Christmas placemats and I think an Irish charm kitchen towel for a dollar. Now, if you missed the shop with me, I did during the shop with me, um, kind of do cart shots telling you how much it was costing. So you can always go back and check that out to make sure I got it right. And then let's see, there's this little guy that I think this was a dollar at a different table. Very, very cute little, it does have a rough ponteel, but it's a cute little yellow pitcher with the white swirl. So that was a dollar from a different table. And this guys, this was the Holy Grail. This I told, I was shopping with my friend Lori and I'm like, if I don't find anything else today, I can go home a happy person. I am not keeping this friends. This, I think, is going to be in my March 9th glass sale. I don't know if this video will air before that, but are you guys ready? I dug in the bottom of the box and found this. Yes, Amberina Fenton, marked Fenton, with the embossed, that means pre-1970s. It doesn't have a date, so it's pre-1970s. Tidbit tray, amberina, hobnail, it glows, no damage, one dollar, one dollar. That made my day. I was like, I'm done. I can go home a happy camper. Now, I don't think there's anything else in this bag. And then you guys will laugh because if you've been watching, I think I had a Goodwill video just before this. So I got this for a dollar, and this one is uh, nice condition. There's not too much iridescence loss, no chips or cracks. I did get this for a dollar. But I think I got a similar one, let me see, for fun to show you guys the difference. So this one, you can see the iridescence is beautiful on it, and that's Holly screaming because John's coming through the house and she has to have treats immediately. So this I paid a dollar at the flea market. Three days prior, I was in Goodwill. 
I don't know if you guys can see the difference in the shine, but this one has lost some of its luster. Even the back is not the same quality. And they had $10 on this, I paid five. So I feel like looking at the colors and everything, that this one might be like more of a reproduction because when you hold it up to the light, this one loses some of the amber and it's got um, a lot more oily type residue. It could just be dirty. Whereas this one, you can see the difference that this one's really nice and gold. I think there's also a size difference. Like this will fit inside this one. But you can definitely see that this might be real depression glass versus carnival, not depression, versus you can see the difference in the quality on the bottom. So that's just interesting that within a week I found the two different ones, even though this one's slightly bigger. I just thought I'd share that difference. So it helps when you're looking and this could have just come from a, a person who kept their stuff nicer. Okay, so I think that I have one more item. I was gonna check my pockets. Okay. And then I got this for a dollar, which I thought was just a really, really sweet vanity tray. It could be for chopsticks, I don't know. But it's just a real cute made in Japan, little floral long tray. I could see lining your lipsticks up on this. Nice little vanity piece for a dollar. So this nice little Irish blessing towel, I got in that, so, Basically, that vase was 50 cents. This was a quarter and the placemats were a quarter if I do it that way. Or they were a quarter each because I got four items. I haven't shown the placemat yet. Now the tag is cut off of this. Oh no, 100% cotton. Um, you can iron it. So just a little Irish blessing. And I figured, you know, I have kitchen sales coming up. Cute for a little buy it now section. And then I think I got these two, they were either $5 each or two for five. And everyone loves these. Now I will say the only issue is we are missing two finials on the top. So that's the only condition issue, but I got this and the other one, I think they were $2.50 each. And this is amazing. I've shipped these before. I'm not afraid to ship them. That could easily, if it had all the pieces on the top, I'd probably list it for about 50, but because it's missing some of the finials and I only paid probably like $5 for it, I'll probably put it in the, at like 30 and see what happens. And then I got this one too, which can hang or sit made in Taiwan. So I got both of those for $5 which was amazing. Okay, now I have to be careful because I have, I have more stuff in this. Yeah, okay. That these, and I got this for the dollar. And this is a little made in Japan trinket box. It does have a little color loss, like it does have a little age, but again, it's like 25 cents. In the bottom of the bin, I was like, yes, please, I'll take it. And then I got this for a dollar. And it's just a really fun placemat. So that'll be in like a little kitchen by it now. <clears throat> I thought it was really cool. I have to wash all these linens, but I mean, if someone has a bunch of plants on the table and they want a centerpiece runner for a dollar on a whatnot sale, or even as a giveaway. And then I grabbed this when I saw it. Now this is printed, it is not embroidered, and it looked vintage to me, and it is a swan pillowcase. Again, I thought perfect for a whatnot sale. Um, this is Grant's Fashions for the Home pillowcase 42 by 36, no iron muslin. So it is vintage, so again, perfect for a whatnot sale because it's a single, throw it in the buy it now section. And again, it was probably a dollar or 50 cents each for those the bottom of this bag is gross so I probably won't be keeping it they were nice enough to give me like a bag to put stuff in but it's kind of gross on the bottom so I just got to get it emptied out and then that's another good flea market bag <clears throat> so then I got these for 
four dollars, I think. It might have been, yeah, four dollars. And I thought these would be great for a spring, my planter sale on whatnot. I'm gonna put these in the buy it now section for like um, a dollar or two each. They're little vintage floral postcards. So one, two, three, because I paid four dollars for all of them. So I might put them at like three dollars and then it's like, you know, one ounce shipping. And then this set of four, or I might divvy them up and do like two dollars each because it helps with shipping. But I got all these from my buddy Joe, Vendor Joe. And we are moving along, friends. I think we are on to the last bag from the box cart guy. Box lot guy. Lori found this for me. I didn't see it. I think this was $2. One or $2. A beautiful, cruel piece in a very nice frame, tabletop frame. And then I got these for a dollar for Taffy. I checked, they're, they've not been opened, they're okay. These are his favorite toys. So I'll open, rinse them, let them dry. Cause it's hard to find just these sparkly ones and they're Chappie's absolute favorite toy. Okay, let's see what's in here. And I think that was it from the Dollar Guy, friends. So gosh, I probably spent one, two, three, four, five, 10, 11, $12 with him and got all that stuff. Awesome. Now I think the rest of this stuff came from my buddy Joe that I'm about to show you. Yep. And these are some vintage hardware. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for everything. So I've got to try to get them out of the bag. Okay. So I did pick up, I think it was $5 for the two of these which is great because I'm always selling replacements online. So um, they're nutcrackers. So whenever he has them, I do pick those up from him. I think it was $5 for those. I spent 21 with him for, for all this. And then, yeah, see, I can't even remember what I paid for these, so I'll have to rewatch the video. So these are cast metal. These are like, um, this part is cast metal. I got this beautiful sconce. I think he wanted 15 for both of these. And then this is like cast metal. It's a wall sconce. Look at the gargoyle on it. Cause yeah, I don't know. I think it was 15 to 20 for the pair, but I thought they were cool. This one's heavy. It's definitely cast metal. This one has cast metal accents, but I love the red drip on it. It's very Gothic. It just needs a little tightening. You can see the metal base, very cool. We're gonna put you back there. And I'll have to rewatch the video because I probably gave a recap of the pricing. And that's another reason I try to recap. If I don't show an item I'm getting, what it costs me, I try to recap. So when I'm doing these hauls afterwards in my inventory, I can be like, oh yeah, that's what I paid for that. And you know what guys? I might, I think I'm going to halt this here. I think this is going to be part one because we're at about 25 minutes and I still have a whole bin of stuff to go through. So stay tuned because I promise tomorrow will be part two and we'll see you then for that haul.